Wise, do you want to call Bellabog? I'll dial the number. Hello, can you hear me? This is Faithen. Ah, uh, it's the two Faithens. Uh, how are you? I'm sorry to trouble you by calling in person. I'll jump straight into the commission details. This time, we'd like to ask your help in retrieving the Mark III in hollow industrial pile driver. The pile driver had been working diligently in the hollow before its disappearance, just like the other two machines. According to Grace, this machine is particularly good at moving across difficult terrain within the hollow, and it's faster than any other machine. That's maybe why it was able to run so deep into the hollow. Sorry to have kept you waiting while we tried to locate it. The good news is, its signal hasn't moved from where we first located it. I'll send you the data we've got. Looks like the pile driver has stopped somewhere. In that case, let's find the nearest hollow entrance before it moves again. Fairy, do you mind? Not at all. Generating route within the target hollow. Route generation complete. Wise. Let's go and get this done. This feels even more bleak than the last hollow we went to. The ether concentration here is higher, too. Well, it has been a hollow for a long time. It's not just dangerous, it's also close to the old capital. No good will come of staying here too long. Let's just find that pile driver ASAP. The proxy said the pile driver isn't far ahead, so it shouldn't take too long to bring it back, right? Blind optimism can be dangerous, Anton. After all, the heavy-duty grappler and boring machine we found both experience pretty significant personality changes, and Grace has yet to find the reason behind it. <laughs> so what if it's changed? It's still our own company's smart machinery. How much trouble could it really cause? Let's get going. Target located. Proceed with the recovery. This guy's dramatic! Let's find a nearby detour. Quietly. No problem, boss. I'll crouch. machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile-driving motion against the ground. Please clench your teeth while falling to avoid biting off your tongue. Watch out! You're gonna fall into the fissure! Uh, is everyone alright? Uh, I'm alright. We need to figure out a way to get back. I'm 
coming. Leave it to me. <laughs> Anton, let's go! Target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground. Starlight Knights never get hit by the same attack twice. Unfortunately, Master, you are no Starlight Knight. <laughs> that old trick again? Cut it out! You think I'm gonna give up if you push me away again? Save it, Anton. Kill it in person. Too hard. I've got your back!
Just wait. When I catch you, I'll tear you apart. Oh? Abandoned building complex detected ahead. Confirmed. There is nowhere for it to go. Master, the target construction machine has been successfully surrounded. Should I broadcast some trash talk to insult it? Please choose a style. Vicious, nasty, or twisted. I can also alternate. Found it! In hollow industrial pile driver type 3. Friday! It's seen us. I wonder what personality this one's gonna have. No worries! We already convinced two problem children! It's time to hear what this guy has to say! It's charging at us without even a word? It... Uh, it's running? What are you all waiting for? Go after it! Ugh. Finally. We cut it off. Hold it there! We can't let it get away again! Get lost! I'll handle it! Go, 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 go! End of the line! Yeah! Just try me! Your shift is over! Safety first! Please, be I'll take it! Just watch me! <laughs> Panton, let's go! You need more rest, Prez. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. A killer is unstoppable! Your shift is over! I'll wrap things up here! Please, be gone! Try again! I'll handle it! Leave it to me! This guy's been completely silent this whole time. 
Maybe his language module is broken? No way. They can obviously understand us. Okay. I know you can hear me. Let's talk. You ran away with two other machines. One was a dude who desired self-fulfillment, the other a young girl passionately in love. What about you? Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> what? Don't you have any weird character traits? How dare you! Huh? Traits? Ridiculous! Mere mortals, how dare they speak us out of turn about my most wondrous mission! I'm the enlightened sinner! I cometh to stabilize the seal and guard this place on my mentor's charge! Thou shalt leap! Ah, uh, I get it. <laughs> so these are delusions of grandeur. Enough! <sighs> Thou art the unreasonable ones! is weak, and once it is broken, this place shall be devastated! Save me. I shall force my way through! Stop right there! My mentor! I come in! It dies! Ben, stop him! Uh, if possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. I'm sorry! Great job, bro! Grace! Now's our chance! I'm here. Leave it to me. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. But let's talk about it when we get back. Sis! The seal is breaking. Don't undermine the most wondrous cause! Wait! Let's talk! Stay away! Turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. Listen to me. I'm not lying. I hear the calling from my mentor horse. I can't fail him. <sighs> What's going on? Why is he mentioning that name? <laughs> I can't even remember how long it's been since I heard his name. Horse Bellabog. Bellabog Industries, previous president, and my father. Kaleda, look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is the prototype you were talking about? When were you finished building it? Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure... <sighs> wow! Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Dad? You promised to play with me today! Kaleida, Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee. Then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute, I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Liar. What? 
Mr. Bellabog, I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy. You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it! What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? Say something! President? President? Uh, Ben, you were saying something? Yes, the commission is completed. Mr. Proxy came to collect their bamboo. <laughs> we might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabog assigned you have been completed. We were able to get out of that tough spot, thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Faithen. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? There's something on my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name Horse, you made an odd face. Uh, oh, uh, would you look at the time? Uh, <clears throat> President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee for Mr. Proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben, don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the Proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us and they're trustworthy. We don't have to avoid it. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabog's president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, that president of Bellabog was Horse. Horse Bellabog. So, yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts, and the old man went missing. Popsec investigated and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the memorial square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior. But we're back on our feet now. Sorry for bringing up bad memories. Hmm, <laughs> that's fine. I stopped thinking of Horse Bellabog as my father a long time ago. The Bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash. Koleda, how could you talk about your own father like that? It's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation results and the claims he absconded with the money were all just pub sex speculation. I know all the bad press brought about by public security and losing your father hurt you, but you shouldn't resent your own father like that. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you... You're the one who doesn't know anything. <gasps> Uh, I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Mr. Proxy who Horse was. And Grace, weren't you and Anton working on those three machines? What are you doing here? I came over to tell you I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great! Mm. After examining their logic cores, 
I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads, BLG prototype. That's right, Kaleda. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems to be coming from the original prototype. The prototype? Could you explain? It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. Apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made, even though the machine was completed. <sighs> the manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you gonna do? Go get it back, or pretend it doesn't exist? <laughs> Calm down, guys. There's no need to jump to conclusions today. Even the most durable components can experience mechanical fatigue. Not to mention, we're all human. After running around in the hollow for so long, both our bodies and minds need relaxation. Uh, Anton's right. It's getting late. Uh, you must be tired. Mr. Proxy, please, go back and rest for today. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. Ready and waiting. How can I help? for some hard labor.
since you're here, why not treat yourself to something nice? Did you get what you were looking for?
Thanks for coming, Proxy. Bellabog Industries has decided to officially start the search for the prototype. So we can finally get to work. Yes. The prototype carries important company technology. As president, I can't just leave it out there. As for finding the prototype, Grace is the expert. Sorry, but I have other things to deal with today. So, you can talk to her about it. Uh, pr president wait! Kaleida walked away with her head hung low. There's still a bit of a grudge between her and Grace. <sighs> Don't worry, Ben. The president isn't the kind of person to change her mind after making a decision. Yes, and that's enough for Sweet Pea. I'll find a way to deal with the rest of it. <sighs> okay, then. Let's begin, Proxy. We'll start with the incident involving the lost smart machines. After carrying out a careful inspection, I found their logic cores were functioning properly and showed no signs of being corrupted by Ether. They changed because they were receiving signals from the prototype. I'll skip the details, but the gist is the operating power of their logic cores has been improved. That is to say, the children became smarter by communicating with the prototype. But of the three, only the pile driver, Friday, received a clear instruction. He was the one yelling about having to reinforce the seal as soon as possible. What is reinforce the seal supposed to mean? Wasn't that just part of his over-the-top delusions? Unfortunately, the little one hasn't been able to explain things clearly. But from what I gather, the prototype wanted the other machines to rush to its side. I studied the data the prototype sent them. The pile driver was the first to receive it, and it got the most data. The other two children received much less information, and the content also appeared sporadic. Also, none of our other smart machines received any communications from the prototype after these first three children went missing. Uh, so the prototype's communication module is likely incapable of actively contacting other devices anymore. Exactly. Kaleida likely realizes that, and probably regrets not making a decision sooner. But she shouldn't blame herself so quickly. Proxy, our smart machines automatically send a single byte confirmation signal when the communication module receives a message. It's a simple feature and is likely still functional. If that's the case, we can have each of the three children contact the prototype and triangulate its location based on the signal it sends back. Time is of the essence, Proxy. When we're in the hollow, we'll leave the navigation and target location analysis to you.